Remember that the limit of sine x over x as x approaches zero is one. Link in the description to my lesson proving that. With this fact, we can evaluate all sorts of other trig limits, including this one, the limit of sine x over the cube root of x as x approaches zero. We would like to get an x in the denominator because we know what sine x over x is when x approaches zero. In order to do that, we'll have to multiply by the cube root of x squared over the cube root of x squared. That way, we're just multiplying by one, and in the denominator, we'll have three factors of cube root of x, which will be just x. So that's gonna look like this. We multiply by the cube root of x squared over the cube root of x squared. When we do that, we of course have a cube root of x squared in the numerator, but in the denominator, we have the cube root of x times two more factors of the cube root of x. That's the cube root of x cubed, which is just x. Then by the limit product law, we can split this limit up into a product of two limits we know. We can take cube root of x squared into its own limit and multiply that by sine x over x in its own limit. Now we know sine x over x as x approaches zero is just one. And on the left, the cube root of x squared we can just substitute zero into that to evaluate the limit, and we find, of course, that it is zero, because the cube root of zero is zero, squared is zero. And so our final answer is zero times one, which is zero. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.